So I have this laptop and it's been running a little bit slow due to it having very little RAM. So today we'll be looking at how to upgrade the RAM on your laptop and some tips and hints on what to look for when doing so. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrent we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated with all our future videos. If you didn't know yet, we've introduced some incredible RAM modules. However, we've had some questions on how to use them to improve the performance of your laptop. So this is what today's video is all about. These RAM modules have been designed to work as well as possible within your laptop with its built-in cooling system and fast performance. Now, when it comes to your laptop, you need to make sure that your laptop can actually be upgraded before starting. Yes, unfortunately, there are some laptops out there like MacBooks and some Windows systems that have their RAM soldered onto the motherboard. This means that you are unable to upgrade your RAM meaning that you'll either have to buy a new laptop or you're going to have to buy another computer with the correct RAM. To check if your laptop has upgradable RAM, you can download a program like CPU-Z to check your system specifications. You can also check with the manufacturer to get the best information. Now, if your laptop does have upgradable RAM, then there are a few things that you should know. Some laptops have got soldered RAM with an extra RAM slot and other laptops will have two upgrades upgradable RAM slots. You need to consider what you have as this will affect how many RAM sticks you should go and get but also how much memory you can add. So let's get into the upgrade. Some laptops have a dedicated flap for upgrading your RAM. However, most laptops will require you to remove the back panel. So let me open up this laptop and take you through the steps. First of all, we want to shut down the laptop before opening anything up. Now there may be a few screws that you will need to remove. So make sure that any visible screws are removed. Now this particular laptop has quite a few screws. However, certain laptops will have hidden screws underneath the feet. So be aware of that. So if you remove the screws and you try to pop off the back panel and you still can't take it off, then just make sure to remove the feet and see if there are any screws underneath them. Now that we've removed the screws, one thing to note is that on certain laptops, you may get two different sizes of screws. So just make sure that when you are placing the screws down, that you are putting them in the order that you have removed so that when you put them back, you put the right screws in the right place. Now let's pry open this back panel. Now you may need a prying tool to remove the bottom panel. And I've done this a few times on this laptop. So I know that I do sometimes need to use this little tool to remove the back panel. Make sure to put the back panel somewhere safe. Now that we have the back panel open, we need to locate where the DIMM slots are. Now, as you can see, this particular laptop only has one upgradable slot for RAM because this is the base configuration and it has some built-in RAM on top on the motherboard and then has an extra slot for upgrading. Now let's insert the RAM into the free slot. If there are any modules in there already, then you just need to remove it by pushing these two metal tabs from either side so that the RAM sticks pop out. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use the Sabrent Rocket DDR4 memory module and I'm going to use the 32 gigabyte version because we've only got one memory slot available and I want to use as much RAM as possible in this system. Now, before you insert the RAM into the RAM slot, you wanna make sure that this notch right over here lines up with this tiny little notch that you may be able to see right over here. So you want to pop the RAM module at a 45 degree angle and make sure that's firmly in. And then once you've done so, you wanna push down firmly so that the two clips on either side make a small little click and then the clips are secure on the sides of the RAM module. Now, if you have two RAM slots in your laptop, then you wanna make sure that you insert the bottom module first and then the top module, or if your RAM module's on either side of this little section over here, then you wanna insert them one by one. Once you've completed that, you just wanna pop the back panel back on and make sure, like I mentioned earlier, that you put the screws all in the correct positions.
There you go, we're all done. Now you just want to start up your laptop again and we want to make sure that the RAM modules have been detected by your system. To do this, once you've started up your computer, you want to head to the Windows icon and then select the gear settings icon. Then click on system and in the left menu bar, scroll down and click on about. Then just make sure that your RAM total is correct under installed RAM. So as you can see on my particular system, because I've added the 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, we have a total of 36 gigabytes of installed RAM because there was four gigabytes of soldered in memory. So there you go. I've just upgraded my laptop and managed to get it running just that little bit faster. I really hope that this video has helped you upgrade your RAM on your laptop and has given you some useful tips to look out for when doing so. But that's it for today. If you found this video interesting, then make sure to hit that like button and also make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can watch more content like this one. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.